Three, two, oh. one. Go get the skits here. I think we can just stab through these with the... I'm gonna try. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. What are we up to today? Travis and I just pulled out the roller mill out of the feed room at the farm here. So we want to start cracking our corn with the roller mill versus using the hammers on the feed mill, uh, mostly because we're not getting a consistent grind to the corn. So we were told that the roller mill would be better, so we brought it up to the shed. We're gonna run through it. Um, there's a bearing that needs to be fixed. We're gonna pretty much go through, make sure that everything is gonna be working good on it. Uh, we need to hook it up, make sure it'll actually run. And uh, we wanna put it on a movable pallet so that we can use it and uh, roll our corn going forward. So we just brought that up here. We're switching gears now and we're gonna be loading up a load of corn fodder. We're gonna take that out to my place. Dad has eight bales of oats, which we're gonna take down to Travis's place. Uh, so that he's got feed down there and I'm not sure what we're going to be doing yet quite this afternoon. Um, as usual, cows need to be fed and all of our other daily chores. But Looks like there actually is a hole in the bottom down there. Um, we put this piece of poly in a couple years ago, probably close to a decade now, and we have two sheets of metal that we also put in and that's because the side was completely rotted out. The feed mill has a bin for concentrate, which we would like to use, but assuming that we can get this part to run, we may end up using that. If this is too, too far gone or we have any issues with it, we're probably not going to hesitate to just uh, take this back off and just use the roller mill, which is sitting behind it. So again, this needs some work. It's got a hole down here. This is a magnet to catch any metal that might be going through. It worked the last time we ran it, so hopefully going through and replacing the chain and the belts, it should fire right back up. And you can't get in to grease it. Yeah. It should be this one, pre lube. Okay. One inch, washing color, everything. As long as the mount isn't destroyed, it doesn't really look like it should be. I'm surprised we didn't do this the last time we had it off. Unless we did, and it just exploded that fast. Probably did. Mm. There it goes. So tiny. 
shiny so far. This thing hasn't ran in probably eight years. Last few days it has been extremely warm in the 50s and the snow has been melting pretty hard so everything is extremely muddy. It's actually pretty dry now today though I've noticed out in the field. I've seen some guys hauling manure but I still think it's a little too early for that. These fodder bales are still good, but this time of year is when it really shows when you have them wrapped that it keeps the bedding dry. Still a little muddy out today. Travis needs to bring home the remaining feed down at the valley. So we're using the 76 in the trailer and the 79 in the bale carrier to move 14 bales back at a time. Plus Travis is throwing three onto the bumper hedge trailer. It's definitely dry out. A little wet underneath yet, but dry enough that we can get down here and move these bales. So what's on today's agenda? Well, we're going in separate directions. But uh, we need to start hauling some manure out, which is going to be in probably a different video. We haven't started hauling any manure out at my place yet. Travis and Dad have been pecking away at uh, over at the main farm, cleaning up the manure from Travis's cows. Uh, tomorrow they're heading down to Travis's place to clean up down there. And I'm thinking next week we'll have time to make it out here with the spreader. But uh, in the meantime, I had my trailer hooked up, so I decided to bring a load of fodder out. I've been feeding one fodder bale for every two hay bales. Uh, I've been feeding my cows every other day, so I put three total bales in at a time, plus one for bedding if they need it, but uh, it's been extremely dry, and so far uh, fodder usage has gone way down. Now, since I'm planning on keeping my steers uh, and hopefully finishing them out, we're gonna need more fodder, so I'm not too worried about having too much or too little at this point, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna hop, hop in the JCB, fire it up, stack these bales, and then uh, that may be the end to this video. Just a kind of odds and tail ends video of different things that we're doing. Um, we haven't gotten the roller mill finished yet. Uh, I ordered new sprockets for it, and those just came. Travis put those on, and um, 
we need to tie it up and get the electrical squared away. We, we're still trying to figure out how we're going to hook it up um, to do different places. Um, there's two different uh, plugs that we're going to need, so we're not. We're still trying to figure that out. From this point on, any of the heifers that I have that are registered, or can be registered, I'm going to end up keeping back until I can fully transition my herd over to registered Black Angus. That means that a lot of these older cows, some of their genetics aren't going to be kept in the herd, which I'm not, you know, we'll see when the time comes, but uh, I won't be keeping back any of my old genetics. I'll be fully transitioning over to Black Angus over the next 10 years. It's going to be a long, arduous process, but uh, I think that going the registered route will be a good move for me. Um, I personally don't really mind the extra paperwork and hassle that it takes, um, although I'll continue to sell them as commercial, so I won't be getting the full benefits of having registered animals um, unless I go to sell sell them for breeding stock which as of right now i don't have any plans to but i figure having papers can't hurt this video was probably a little slower but uh in next week's video we will be hauling manure out here so anyway with that thanks for watching guys be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on facebook instagram tiktok and snapchat all how farms work and with that i'll see you next time